when you get into art, if you don't find something that's a little different, you've got to be awful good. <laughs>
Well, it's, I I can't resist showing off. Oh yeah, that, that was beautiful. Thank you beautiful. very much. Beautiful. <laughs> These boards themselves are, they were growing here when the Indians were here. These, some of them, that one up there. Uh-huh. Uh, so did you get that out of the barn? Yeah. I got them out of an old potato cellar that had been built out of some barns from Indian. And I, and at that time, I talked to the men who built the barns or built the potato cellar. And they came out of the roof. Uh-huh. And it was a big one. It was 50 feet, 55 feet wide and 100 feet long. Anyway, uh, Theron Comden, the old guy that lived over at Intricate, I mean, I, I built a fireplace a few years ago, and uh, he, he, he knew that the history of these boards, and they came out of an old German guy named Leonard. Oh. And... Uh, the story was that uh, we told is that there were two lumber companies and they cut the timber one year and tried to get it out the next year for some reason. So they'd cut a lot of timber around Indrican, these big pines. See, that board is 20, 20 inches wide. That's in there's a. This one here? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, the two lumber companies got into some kind of a legal thing about uh, cleaning out the, the flat river so they, could, they have to build dams, you know, and everything to flow it off. Right. And so the, uh, the board's got beetles in it, okay. which they'll do with the bark on. Right. And so this German built his buildings out of these old pine boards like that one. But there's another thing that I found out. See that line that goes across that board up above? This that's that's uh, been sawed on what they call an over and under saw, and I'd never heard of one. Because about as big of a saw blade they had was six foot, which means they couldn't hardly saw a three foot log. Okay. And a lot of them logs were five, six feet. Right. And so they had this other saw mounted above them, and to think that they run those with steam, I mean, yeah. it's no wonder they blew up once in a while. Huh. But that's what that was. That was cut on over and under. Saw, and the interesting thing about them, if you've ever been around a sawmill, you always square up a log. Yep. And so the heart is in the center. Yep. Well, when they cut into it, you look at the end grain and those in the center might be five inches in so you know they've cut some timbers off that yeah thing. yeah but, uh, yeah that's uh I, i'd never heard of an over under saw yeah i've got a couple pictures of it and i'm i got a car one if i can come up with something oh i'd love to see that very cool. I think we could spend hours here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you get into art, if you don't find something that's a little different, you've got to be awful good. Yeah. You know, because there's so much competition. There's so like that Western Horseman magazine. They sponsor a a, a, a gallery. They call it uh -huh. where they show these artists, you know, in their works. And there's just an awful lot of good artists. But when you carve like this, you get this 3D. Not only that, but there's a certain uh, value in the fact that these are 
old barn boards. Yes, for sure. I mean... See these boards that's behind these pictures here were so uh, split and knotty and stuff I couldn't use them. Right. But they make a beautiful wall. Oh, yeah. Except they're all covered up. What did she want to do? She wanted to brush him. Yeah, do you find a brush out there? What? Is there a brush out there by the door? Yeah. Go ahead. He's a very gentle lamb. I got, I got to get this kind of in perspective because I don't think people understand on video that these are three-dimensional carvings, not just paintings, you know? They're yeah. Well, I, at first I, I just thought I could just paint them, you know? Yeah. And, but then there's, how do you tell the difference between a cardinal and a bluebird? <laughs> right. right. You know, in the... In, very, all oh, very, very nice. Very I really, I would dare say that went back to the lumbering days because they used to get, uh, uh, freeze all the roads, you know, put water on them, freeze them so they could haul the, like there's 8,000 board feet on that log up, here? up there. That's what it said on the picture that I copied it from. Okay. And, uh, they, they had to, and I knew this old man when I was a young boy that was, he uh, drove team in the, you know, in the lumbery days, because I've been around for a long time, and you had my time to this old guy, and he said that, um, well, I was wondering about in the picture, they, they don't show if you know anything about horses, they don't have hardly any harness on them horses. Yeah. And the old man told me, he says, the reason is, he says, they had so many upsets because uh, uh, in order to get up a grade, they had to almost run the horses to get up a grade. And then going down a grade, he says, it was a real problem to hold them back. And he mm -hmm. says, that it, every night, he says, they have to rebuild a harness. So they put the minimum harness on them. Um, yeah, that's... But, uh, so there was a reason for that. Yeah, that binder, that's something that I learned from my dad. They, most people use chain binders, you know, today, but uh, if you twisted that log in that chain and then tie it down, you could tighten that right up. There's a, I just added that. That's an actual chain. It's not carved in. That's cool. Yeah, I have to, there's, all my lines and stuff is aluminum wire. I can hammer it, you know, uh -huh. and make it look just like leather. Oh. Or like a strap. Otherwise, you can't carve. That's the problem okay. with this, as opposed to painting. Painting, you can put the irises in an eyeball, but you can't carve it. You can't carve it. <laughs> so you have, you're limited to. Huh, very some, cool. Oh, and there's even a bit of chain right there that's... Huh. That's really cool. Yeah, I save all the different kind of chains that I can find. There's... So that's those four little horses. Well, because they're probably not so little. <laughs> so they would be as big as they could get. Yeah. That's 8,120 board feet. That's about... 32,000 pounds, about 35,000 pounds. Yeah, well, you can imagine once they broke that loose on ice, Yeah. it, it, would, it, it would be more holding it back than it would be pulling it on them. Yeah. So they had to, I've got some of the car tour shoes that go in there too, like this one, like this ox shoe. So they used to, well, all my grandparents were lumbermen. They came up, they lived up north. Uh huh. And, uh, and I, can't, I, did, I only saw them a very few times, but my dad grew up when, he, you know, they was out of school when they were 14. And so he did work in the lumber, which one year? Yeah. So he could tell me. This is the, the one that 
it shows putting up a barn wall. I see that one. That and one's really cool. I got one breaking stones and a couple of them laying them. That isn't the way they done it. They went around and around, but I couldn't show it. And I went right. Just have to. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, uh, Out Ralph really is a talented artist, and I've got more footage. I probably be putting another video together, so stay tuned for that. Here is just a little bit of his antique collection that he's got. Um, it's really cool. I'll try to get that into the next video, and uh, um, hopefully you'll you'll catch the next one and. Uh, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the thumbs up and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching.